Here's some real top tips for you to look after your analyzer and keep it running in the best performance. Number one, the device is really designed for only ever working in a vertical position. Strong magnets on the back of the analyzers on the boiler in a vertical position. If you leave the analyzer laying horizontally, with the condensate trap, you're likely sometimes to pull water back through the trap into the pump and into the sensors. And with the electrochemical sensors that Testo and other manufacturers use, if you get condensation and water in them, then the sensors are gonna need replacing. So don't use the instrument lying down. Another tip for you, make sure after every job, with the condensate trap, you pull the bung, empty the condensate out of the instrument, don't leave condensate sitting in the trap. But remember, the bung must always go back on the instrument because otherwise you will draw in air with the uh, measurement readings and dilute the mixture. Because they're sensitive to condensation and moisture, don't leave them in a van overnight, particularly when you get the change from autumn to winter. Because where we go from a hot day to a very cold evening, you can get condensation forming inside the van and directly inside the analyzers as well. So if you can, take the analyzer out at night and put it into your house. Obviously the other benefit is hopefully it prevents it from theft as well. On the tester analyzers, the primary filter is in the end of the sampling probe. It's always good practice to make sure that its filter is both clean and dry. If you're doing a lot of condensing boilers, obviously it can get wet. If it's damp, just put it to one side to let it air dry, get a dry filter and put it in. If you're working on oil-fired boilers, you will notice that the inside of the filter starts to go gray with soot. Again, if it's looking particularly laden with soot, throw the filter away, replace it with a clean filter. That way you're ensuring you're getting the best gas flow straight to the sensors. 